What I hear from taxpayers a lot is just a frustration about being able to get through to the IRS on the phones. There are times when you really need to talk to the IRS to find out what's going on and you just have to suffer through those phone calls. I like to tell people to do other work while you're on the phone. A second major complaint is that they really don't understand the notices that the IRS sends them. They can try to go to the internet and search irs.gov and see what comes up. One thing that my office, the Taxpayer Advocate Service, is working on right now is a site where they can go and we will have a plain language page that explains what this notice is about. Another thing that comes up during filing season is identity theft, which is really rampant today. People often give out their social security number when they don't really need to. And people should have a reflex to say, why do you need that? Because every time you put your social security number out there, there's a risk of it being compromised. <laughs> Where we see real danger is when you're going to folks who are saying, I can get you the biggest refund possible. Those are things where the taxpayer is going to be harmed, and often there's a refund fraud scheme involved in there. Taxpayers need to be very careful that they are going to people who are reputable. And one way to do it is to go to someone who's licensed, like an attorney, a CPA, or an enrolled agent. People need to be very careful about who they pick to prepare their returns.